Welcome back to another 3D modeling exercise in SOLIDWORKS 218. Now this is a isometric section view. Let's read first. All dimensions are in millimeter. This L, W, R, these are the quotes, uh, annotations, short form R, L, W, material plane carbon steel, scale 1 is to 1.5. Okay. Okay, let's start with base. Now base length 284, width 128 and thickness 20 millimeter. Okay, first we will create base. Then we will make this corner fillet R25, four numbers. Okay, now similarly there are four number of holes R24. You will see the center to center distance. And even though this dotted line shows it is lies at the center of this. Okay let's do this first now first we need to change unit i'm going to change unit milli millimeter gram second now i'm going to apply here top plane a sketch now activate here center rectangle and let me draw something like this okay the length is 284 tap 128 enter now right click choose select and out of this see isometric view now here go to feature and activate extruded boss base feature now look arrow moving upside means material going to add upside now start condition from we will keep same sketch plane now direction end condition this is called we are going to choose blind because I'm going to apply here thickness 20 millimeter and see this is moving upper side. Even you can drag with this handle also, but this is the simple. So I'll keep as it is. Now activate fillet. Now first you have to choose type of fillet. So I'm going to select constant type fillet. Then here we have to choose the edges and here fillet parameters, symmetric radius and radius let's say 24 okay profile circular now here let me choose if i'm going to select one edge it will show you this pop-up so we have two options so first one if i'm going to select connected to start face and see all edges are selected automatically no need to choose one by one say okay that's it now let's create four holes so we will create with hole wizard now here one option called hole type simple hole standard i am going to keep metric if i get to mention in note now here type i am going to make a drill size okay simply you can write here or even though you can click customize and write it here that's simple make throughout this is hole so we will keep end condition see through all position now we have to choose the face before going to place so i'm going to select this face now see tool activated now just keep cursor near edge and it will show you center point because this hole lies at center point so click here if i'm going to keep see center point similarly center point right click choose select exit isometric view now choose OK. Now let's see. Now let me select shift and these two holes and at bottom you will see distance between cylinder axis to 36. This is what according to drawing hold shift key select these two holes and see at right bottom distance between cylinder axis 80 millimeter. This is according to drawing. OK. Let me create this first. OK. So this is 32 millimeter, 36 inner hole, outer diameter 62, okay. And here we have one rib, R14, 16 millimeter. And the rib lies at center. Now let me select this face, sketch. Now activate circle. Now here draw circle and the circle diameter 62 enter exit. 
now is smart dimension and distance from here to this edge shows 70 millimeter now let me do one thing select this center point go inside now activate extruded boss base feature and this is going to be extrude up to 32 millimeter okay now select this face sketch activate circle again and i'm going to create one hole this is 36 exit now select outer edge and this circle co-centric look this is black color means fully defined sketch activate extruded boss base feature and here start condition we will keep same but end condition we will choose through all let's see it's going to make a throughout hole right plane is sketch because this is the center plane now here i am going to draw one rib at this point and little extend inside let's see distance from this corner to outer side 16 millimeter it's still not fully defined defined any dimension so it satisfy why i am doing this okay let's delete this okay it's still drawing fully defined activate rib now thickness keep both side 14 millimeter and material also see moving body okay look it shows error extrusion error so simply again i am going to this is a kind of error in solidworks still they did not solve by solidworks let's say six enter exit we just extend this point to here in up to inside now see rib thickness move both side 14 millimeter look material arrow handle towards body okay look now let's make this one diameter 72 width 64 and distance 118 plus 70 so we have to create a plane then we will do and distance from here to this plane okay 106 plus 24 plus 20 okay we have to calculate this then there is a rib at center see this rib you will see in dotted line the width of this rib is 64 and this is lies from this face to here 7 millimeter 10 millimeter okay so we will draw at center if you divide 5 plus 27 this is going to be 32 okay let me draw one activate plane now select this face okay now from here flip direction now here choose for 70 plus 118 look okay now select the plane sketch activate circle and let's draw here big circle and the diameter is 72 exit now distance from bottom it's 20 plus 24 plus 106 it's still not defined so select these center points vertical extruded boss base but this is moving wrong side so okay by default here some points are selected keep blind and condition and reverse and this is going to be 64 okay now we have two bodies because both are separate so let's connect these two so before going to connect i'm going to hide this plane create a one center plane so again activate plane now here first reference this plane now second reference activated select this plane and see a mid plane going to create a sketch okay 
and sketch again click normal and reverse okay let me draw one thing select this line convert entity so no need to draw and uh, this is going to be 64 millimeter right okay now again i am going to make one line for now select both the planes hold shift key and select this center one and it will show you one pop up symmetric this is important constraint even though let me select these two coincide fine 64 okay now there is two close profiles so simply go to trim entity power trim use left mouse and drag your mouse and see this is trimmed drag over a line extruded boss base now here direction and condition i am going to keep mid plane because we are at mid plane and thickness of rift 10 millimeter say yes look now we have to create this rib 24 27 and back side also we have a rib same as like uh, this up to this end so we will create with rib and there is a corner fillet r16 r16 16 millimeter from here right plane sketch activate line tool just try to connect 24 look it seems fully defined this sketch okay still not defined because the point is select this end point hold shift key these points coincide now it seems fully defined activate rib tool now look this is now the handle arrow handle moves upside so flip material size and thickness 10 millimeter both side say okay look the rib is created similarly we have to create right plane rib here select this find out end point look this is fully defined because this is attached with this end point rib look material rib arrow handle move inside here choose 10 millimeter material both side okay no need to change anything else click plane and hide it activate fillet fillet type constant size and here radius fillet parameter 16 symmetric and profile circular let me select one two three and four okay now select this age hold shift key select this age and you will see at bottom normal distance 16 millimeter that's it now let's check we are going to make this this is lies at center 64 divided by 2 is 32 28 10 10 this is a hole and this width 46 millimeter away from the center line you will see here and there is a hole 44 dia so first i am going to create choose right plane plane and here put 46 millimeter look okay now select the plane sketch activate circle and i'm going to draw one circle here this is 28 enter okay now distance distance shows 32 millimeter from this side okay and one more let's connect with any center point 
because this is lies at center hall look this is fully defined this sketch extruded boss base keep blind and here see this is moving wrong direction so just simply reverse and here in blind choose up to next up to next means this face hide select this face sketch activate circle and this circle going to be 44 enter now select the circle and outer circle make relation concentric extruded cut feature now in direction i am going to choose through all even though you can choose up to next up to next means this face select this face sketch activate circle and here draw one circle 10 diameter enter exit now select outer one and inner one concentric see this is fully defined sketch activate extruded cut feature start condition same and uh, up to next i am going to choose what is up to next inside wall okay look the hole is created up to inside okay now we did almost all the operations now right click edit material plain carbon steel you will see all the details here you can even change the newton mm per square apply close see now if you want to apply appearance different appearance i am going to appearance double click and see the appearance change and from here edit appearance and you can whatever color do you like you can use it okay you can if you want to see section view in 3d modeling just simply cut this all options and you will get the idea well, okay let's do it for a temporary base make sure this is bigger than this extruded cut through all okay look if you want to see here to so similarly do it here extruded cut keep and condition through all okay and that's it don't forget to share like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects inside box thanks for watching